Look it up. We're going to be off and running any second now. The countdown has just finished. And there you go. Right, yep, wow. There we go. Almost perfectly synced up. Um, feels good, man. Feels good, man. When the RTMP is is just on point. The RTMP is just right. Love it. Love it a lot. Early Shriner here. Um, Wonder's not even not even gonna have a look at it. Obviously not a. Both, both racers not even looking in the Shriner. I think King Captain did have a quick look in and then dived out. Didn't see anything. He wanted. I shrines are a pretty good source of some really strong items and just ways to get a uh, early game builds, even in blood tier. Um, they're full of three things that could all potentially be shrine of darkness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um. Neither of these races are going to, and I mean, here's a great example. Okay, if you check that Shriner, and I can't remember whether it did have darkness, but if it does, then there's a spear and there's a, there's a torch, which you don't really want, but there's that free scroll as well. Um, yeah, and it's the blood shop, pretty weak here. Uh, Infernal torch, not too familiar. It looks like uh, we got Wonder J grabbing both of them now. Yeah, I don't hate that. I maybe consider taking that gold broadsword as well. Not healing off the shopkeeper familiar. Uh, we'll need to see um, whether whether Wonder does remember to do that throughout the rest of the run because it is a really oh. important part. I was I was really hoping he, the, there was a perfect opportunity to infernal torch that Minotaur as it charged down, but now he's got a vacation Minotaur. Yeah, that Minotaur is just on its on its holidays. Uh, King Captain missing the opportunity for the Infernal Torch as well. Yeah, and so, yeah that's like... I, I feel like if you're going to be spending resources, like you're spending a bomb and health to go into the blood shop and buy items, you really need to be trying to, you know, make sure you're utilizing the uh, said items. Yeah, exactly. You need to... It's, it's build awareness. You just got to be aware... Um, of what you have and what more importantly what you can do with what you have um gonna see wonder grab the grab the lucky charm here uh, oh, just, oh, oh my God. no captain, <laughs> just being too indecisive about those weapons and it's like that's um when you are uh when you've got a bomb down an active bomb down that is not the time to be uh wishy-washy but and oh that is a bad gluttony right there yeah, that's um, absolutely not where you want to spend never that. proc your gluttony charm if you can just fill it with empty heart containers instead and ugh, getting grabbed by a monkey, they're going to have to reset. Yeah, not a, not how you want to play that that food shopkeeper. And yeah, like Jack is saying, you do need to... For Blood Tear Racers, learn darkness. It is possibly the strongest shrine in the game and if it's not then it's it's got to be like top two it's unbelievable how good a shrine it is um certainly situations where other shrines are better but darkness is just like the base like catch all like if no other shrines are good then this one's probably good but. yeah exactly oh i mm, not sure how i feel about uh king captain opting to kill his shopkeeper for that titanium spear. I mean, titanium spear is like a reliable weapon, but not particularly strong one. Uh, especially when you're looking at your opponent and they've got a decent piece of armor and a titanium axe. Yeah. Um, Wonder I don't has think a you can reasonably build. expect your opponent to die in this situation. Oh, and we got one of my favorite combos here, the Miner's Cap Infernal Torch. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. You're going to see some fireworks going off here. Uh on wonder side a uh, really really nice build for pushing as well maybe a little bit spooky for a blood tier racer we'll need to see how wonder handles this um but it is a beautiful combination okay doing well to remember that the axe is not a broadsword in that zone 2 boss yeah um, wonder kind of being a little inconsistent about remembering his uh shopkeeper familiar though did have a pile there he could have healed off of oh actually wait no yes we have gold hi Build awareness. <laughs> well, but now getting off that to a much stronger ring of piercing. And yeah, see, like, Wonder J has 
all the advantages in the world here. He's got health, he's got a better build, he's got shopkeepers that are still alive. Um, like, the only thing I would say King Captain has over him is, uh, he's got two bombs. Like, that's about it. Yeah, really, really not, not too much to speak of. Uh, Wonder's doing pretty well to push through this, uh, Zone 3 so far. The, the Rat Familiar is a nice little bonus. Needs to be using this freeze maybe a little bit more. Uh, yeah, that's probably think, uh, the key thing for, for like blood tier racers. Know your spells. Okay, yeah, there. Now that he's off the ring gold though, now, uh, you know, using it to heal up when appropriate. Yeah, there we go. So gonna be gradually getting that health back up to full. Uh, looks like he's just ready to push. They're really comfortable with the, the build he's got right now. And I mean, it's it's a super powerful build he's running here. Axe piercing is just, whew, it's so good. Yeah, this is this is just such a beautiful build for Wonder at this point. It's it's not the safest, um, but the fact that it's so powerful does in itself provide some safety. The two damage is probably the kind of key, the key downside um, more than anything else. Don't freeze wonder. ball might be good here. Yeah, I think this is the point at which you just freeze on this fight. Don't don't lose your multiplier. Uh, that rat from you're doing some work. All right, managed to handle right, it pretty well. well. Yeah, nice handling rack, rack of the clone blow. Missing the heal though. Yeah, you got you have that shopkeeper familiar. Use it. Oh, grenades. Oh, <laughs> here we grenade go. Grenade charm. There we go. Getting those much needed bombs for the late game. Yeah, that's a really nice find. So three bombs for uh, Wonder Jade. They do six damage each instead of, I believe the standard is four. Um, yeah. And those are going to get thrown much like Eli's bombs are kicked. So pretty powerful. Yeah, just has to remember that he has them. Like if you just try and go up to the stage and uh, bomb like you normally do, uh, you're not going to enjoy the results. And piercing just putting in so much work here, just cleaning up Blade Masters, no problem. Okay, King Captain did a good job of uh, of catching up here. He's gonna check this black chest. It's an obsidian spear. Uh, that's a bit nicer. It will need to bear in mind that uh, if he drops this multiplier, we'll be down to one damage until he gets a kill. Um, but if you can keep that three damage up with this ring of piercing, it's uh, it's a really really nice find. Oh, the obsidian armor as well. Definitely better than that quartz armor. Well, yeah, then saying that, yeah. maybe, maybe oh, I'm just going to redact that immediately. We're seeing a little bit of a little bit of seed variance here as well, because uh, Wonder J finding that obsidian spear in a rat trap in four two. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, wow, wonder, wonder you just Jay need to freeze. Really hard. Just use your free spell, please, please. Yeah, there's there's no need to be pushing like here. this. Okay, it, it's gonna get away with it, but holy smokes. Yes, yeah, jeez, that was a pretty absurd push. Oh, well, ooh. But, um, King Captain checking this 4 2 arena that Wonder J skipped and finding an obsidian cat. Immediately getting hit with it, unfortunately, down to one heart. It does have that potion in tow, but uh, the cat with the piercing is just a really, really nice combination. Oh, yeah. Just let's see. Uh, like, Blade Masters are otherwise pretty awkward with the cat. Um, but, yeah, just lets you treat them like, you know, white skeletons, basically. Oh, yeah, <laughs> a little oh. bit of a nasty teleport from the Warlock there. Yeah, can really unfortunately timed. Gonna be dropped to one multiplier right before fighting this mini boss. I think this is a good time for him to use this free scroll, but um, looks like he's gonna handle it fine. Yeah, it did really well to uh, to use that cat to get out of the situation. Using it exactly as you have to, you can dance around enemies really, really well. Um, and he's gonna be down on his four three wonder down on to five two, making a good push. Really nice shot there for five for on five two for wonder. Maybe though not comfortable with the shopkeeper kill, considering that he's on grenades instead of uh, instead of normal bombs. Because just gonna push right past it. Yeah, it does um, have those ninja uh, stars as well though. Yeah, it's true. And a free spell, and uh, you know the quartz armor gonna keep him from getting killed by the shopkeeper even so. 
Yeah, exactly. But I can understand. Maybe at this point, you just got a little bit of tunnel vision. Like, okay, your build is good enough to finish the run, so just go and finish the run. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Again, Axe is not a broadsword. Taking a little bit of damage there from that gold electrum mage. Thankfully, not too much, but, thanks to that quartz armor. Yeah, like, uh, almost a full zone lead here, just as uh, King Captain leaves Deep Blues. Uh, we got Wonder Day starting Deadringer. Pretty uh, on the rails, fast strat here. Yep, well done, Dead Ringer for for Wonder. And I mean, again, it's another one of these key things. If you're in Blood Tier, learn to flawless your bosses, learn Dead Ringer, and uh, the different strats you can use. There, uh, Dead Ringer being off the rails is generally an issue with like something you've done executing a strat or not using one of the common strats. Um, it's not too often Dead Ringer really, really screws you. Wonder J, like looking like they they know what lures are, but uh, kind of struggling to find the right positioning a little bit. Um, this formation with like Kins and Dorian right on top of each other is not really ideal for it. It's going to lead to lots of oh, oh the freeze too far dragon. away. Yeah, freeze does have a limited range if it's not the greater freeze. So, um, and it's going to be centered around Cadence. So. Not gonna freeze that dragon, gonna just have to kill it. Yeah, technically doing the right thing and using the freeze, but like you said, that freeze radius it is around cadence, and with regular freeze, it isn't the biggest radius. Yeah, it's so easy to make that mistake, uh, because you know, normally it's you just have cadence and it's centered, your view centered on her, and you just look at you know, you see like everything that's near your character getting frozen, but when you've got two, it's a little bit trickier to see, but regardless, uh. Wonder J with a pretty clean uh, Necrodance fight overall. I'm gonna take round them. Yep, Wonder J up one nothing. It is a best of three, so one more win will do it for Wonder. Uh, King Captain gonna have to win two in a row to get promoted into Obsidian, not Obsidian, uh, Titanium. Sorry. But a uh, a really really quality Blood Tier race. It has to be said. You know those times for Blood Tier are good. Um, so some spooky situations, maybe Wonder pushing a bit too hard in Zone 4 especially, but uh, it did work out. Uh, would have liked to have seen the free spell used a bit more, a couple of shopkeeper familiar heals. Um, but again, as far as blood tier races go, it was pretty good. It's hard for me to cite a single race at any tier where I wouldn't say I, you know, then I would have liked to have seen more spell usage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not just a blood tier thing. It's uh, it's it's across the board. Even in Crystal, uh, you have people that just don't use their spells quite as much as uh, as they should. This this game takes a lot out of you with regards to like how many things you have to think of at any one time. Oh, no, for sure. Wonder stream going a little bit funny right at the start of the race. There we go. Let's calm down now. Could have been an interesting blood shot. Looks like uh, King Captain gonna, gonna go for the kill here. Wants to keep his health high. Um, is he going for the axe or the whip though? Gonna go for the axe. Uh, whip. The whip. Uh, axe. The axe. There you go. The axe. Okay. Okay. Comes up with the axe, but um, Wonder Jay going the other direction. So gonna just miss that blood shot all together, and run this uh, base spear. Yeah. Which I mean. There, there seems to be a bit of, you know, base spears worse than base dagger. Uh, that kind of thoughts floating around. I personally don't, uh, don't believe that. I, I will, I will take the spear okay. over the, over Very the dagger. Very prompt upgrade, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, seen broadsword, so kind of, uh, gonna kind of devalue, uh, King Captain's time in that much up. Oh, rates, rates, man, they're, they're fair and balanced. I love rates. One, uh, the One's one just kind of showing up as he's as uh, Wonder J is trying to deal with the Minotaur and just having no choice but to jump into it by the looks of it. Let's see. Oh, isn't going to get the the gold kill, uh, the quicker I... gold kill on that Minotaur, but it uh, did get did get one a little bit quicker, and he's down onto onto one it tree. Looks, I, I missed on King Captain either missing the Obsidian Broadsword or uh, like to stick with the. Uh, Golden axe. Yeah. Oh, there's a fall. Oh no. <laughs> I, I'm also kind of surprised. I would maybe eat that chicken, just heal yourself up, and then take the blood drum. Uh, gonna provide you with a, a good amount of 
mobility. Uh, Wonder managed to find that Ring of Might as well for that Obsidian Broadsword, which is a really nice find. Yeah, as we mentioned before, uh, you know, Obsidian damage plus one means that the lowest you're ever going to be dealing is two damage, and even when that is the case, after one kill, you're going to be back up to that, you know, that big three. And yeah. three is, you know, a lot of damage. Three is key. Uh, going to swap out for the Ring of Frost here, though. Um, don't don't mind that at all. You're you're two hit killing everything. Um, probably not the the faster decision, but um, definitely makes things a lot less spooky. Even a nasty armadillo hit there, Wonder Jay's side. So uh, losing quite a bit of health here. Yeah, down to a heart and a half. I'm gonna try and find something. Is there a route through? Yeah, there's the. Oh, I sure do love nightmares. They can they can cause some real nasty situations when they hide enemies in their in their shadow. Looks like um, King Captain finding a transmog shop that uh, Wonder Jane missed. Um, yeah, had a. Like, uh... Hmm, I I'm not quite sure. I, I mean, I would assume that considering he passed up the. Uh... Oh, Wonder oh no, Jay. Wonder Jay. There... That was a situation where he just had to uh, stop, just burn a beat. There was uh, no valid action he could have done that would have, uh, you know, the only valid action that would have kept his multiplier was moving up into the bed. Um, but surrounded by stone walls, wind mage two tiles away from him, and he just unfortunately, uh, you know, that that instinct to move on every beat sometimes proves lethal, and we're seeing that right there. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta stand still. Just gotta. It's it's kind of intuitive, but um, it's what you got to learn to do. It's another one of these key kind of things to improving as a racer. Um, this is a really nice shop and a really good place to kill as well. Uh, get your heavy plate um, and and heal up as well. I'm not sure I agree with the decision of, of Golden Axe over uh, Titanium Broadsword. Yeah. But... I think it, it's... The Golden Axe is nice, and yes, the gold kills are nice, but... It's probably better to to just have that solid two range. Sorry, the two damage, not two range. Find a crate room, gonna be. <laughs> oh in my right lord! <laughs> Man, that value on that drumstick. <laughs> One drumstick for half a heart. And then cookies as well. Jeez. You gotta love. Uh, you gotta love Lucky Charm. Yeah, Lucky Charms changes in the Amplified, you know, uh, boosting up the quality of any uh, crates that would have normal food items, all the way up to ham. It's yeah. very strong right now. So the non-DLC foods aren't affected. Carrots and cookies, they stay the same. But uh, anything else, it'll become a ham. Uh, there are a couple of other changes as well. But uh, that's kind of the key one to focus on here. Okay, Fireball Spell, oh. that's a nice find. Pretty much exact one zone difference here. Uh, you know, Wonder Jay getting back to zone two and King Captain getting into, into zone three. Yeah. Oh, Dagger of Phasing? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think probably should, I... but I don't think we're going to see that in, in this tier. It's, it's not the, the comfiest item. Yeah, if, it, if it's me racing, absolutely dagger and phasing over the one damage axe, but... Um, for these guys, you know, it's keep keep your axe. Da yeah, dagger dagger range weapons can be tricky for... Oh, okay. That's better. That's that fine. Um, yeah, dagger range weapons, um, you know, those special daggers like dagger of frost, dagger of phasing, uh, electric dagger, all really strong, but if you're not comfortable with fighting on that dagger range, um, then, yeah, I'd say sticking with the golden axe is fine. Yeah, exactly. The rate again. The range is kind of the key thing, because um, sometimes you can just get kind of swarmed, uh, especially in zone three. You can just have a ton of things just suddenly on you. But uh, that obsidian rapier, a much nicer find for King Captain. Three damage and six on the lunge if he's up at max multiplier. So really nice and solid. I mean, this build is just great. It's kind of exactly what you want as, as a blood tier racer. Maybe you want a weapon that's not the rapier, but the double damage on the lunge is really nice. 
And yeah, it was a really nice gold kill on uh, on the Blue Dragon on 3-2 with that golden axe. Uh, so credit where it's due to King Captain for that one. Yeah, for sure. So that's it. Um, Wonder Jay doing a little bit of shopping in zone two and coming out a little bit ahead. Uh, you know, in terms of one one department on the build, uh, getting those explorer boots, which are really going to help in zone four. A little bit in zone three, but not as not quite as much. Yeah, not quite as much. Ice is still a big hazard. Oh, King Captain dropping his multiplier here on for to small. Uh, don't think it matters too much. Took a heart of damage. Doesn't really need anything else in the build. Maybe you want a nice ring. Um, but yeah, the one thing I would say is had a really nice uh, double fireball kill on the on the blue dragon on three three was really smart about knowing okay I have plenty of health and that blue dragon's going to be a nightmare because you're approaching it horizontally. Just double fireball did so I was able to get off of the floor with uh, without any issue. Ooh, not sure if Wonder J was looking to take that trap door, but uh, bombing it with that bomb trap so. Going to be forced to kind of run around and look for the exit here. Finding it, though, tucked away in this corner. Yeah, different bosses here on 3-3, which uh, that's all down to that that shopkeeper kill early for um, for King Captain. So Dire Bat for, for Wonder. And uh, Wonder J on the new and improved Fortissimal 3. Taking a hit, though. Uh, probably going to need to eat the ham at the end of this fight if not right now yeah all oh, the, these elementals are are not doing a wonder any favors with the with the kind of floor on for this still game. not eating the ham i don't know how i feel about that um might be looking like that could be your food shop right there yeah I yeah I, possibly or no i think uh king captain did king captain already have his he, food shop he must have he must have Hmm. Okay. Wait, I I think uh, yeah, considering the health situation oh, for Wonder Jay here, <laughs> um, should be looking to eat that ham as soon as possible. Yeah, absolutely. You're down to one heart. You don't have any armor. Just just eat your ham. It's right there. There's a black bat right there that could <laughs> end your run. No. Oh. The wind well, mage and the um, bomb. I mean, you have lucky charm, so the black bat wasn't gonna end his uh, run through attacking him directly but it can still do that uh block your movement up with that broadsword and just and that's i'm not quite sure what he was waiting for uh, with that ham um you know on one heart out of three has no armor like almost nothing is going to be damaging him for that last half heart for that you know tiny little bit of extra value he could have squeezed out of that ham yeah, exactly. It's such it's such an edge case though. Just just eat your ham. <laughs> just eat your ham. I'm sure if Elad was here, he'd be he'd be singing from the same same hymn sheet I am. All right, this exit room on five one going to be top right for King Captain. Going to be looking to tie this up at one. Uh, really doesn't have much to to worry about. Good kill on that Earth Dragon. Knew he had enough damage with that lunge. Oh, takes a hit on the wire there. Not too much of a problem. Does have heavy plate and that ham in tow. Alright, good kill on the metronome as well. I've got to say, I've been impressed with King Captain's Zone 5 play. Uh, wonders as well. You know, they're... They're showing a good awareness of what these new enemies do and how to deal with them. Um, which... Yeah, something I think we've seen a fair amount in Blood Tier is like kind of a, you know, they, you watch them play it and they're like, okay, yeah, they've played this game a good amount, you know, they know what they're doing, then they hit zone five and it's just like, um, just like <laughs> never played this game before. Yeah, they just like dial the speed way back, um, you know, a single like orc or something, just, you know, just trips them up for quite some time. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, it's a tricky game and it does take time to learn, but um, it's just, it's such a kind of, uh, it's it's just a polar opposite um, from like what the rest of some of the Blood Tier Racers runs can be. Uh, yeah, for ooh. sure. I'm not trying to, you know, devalue um, the racer's performance or anything. Absolutely. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, this game is very hard, um, and it takes a while to learn all the new material that's come with the DLC. Exactly. We all have our strengths and uh, weaknesses in this game, and that goes from the top tiers down to the bottom tiers. Uh, there's certainly no one who is perfect at this game. Oh, oh, eat your ham! Captain needs to eat his ham. Okay, gonna good, eat his good ham. ham. Just in time for to eat another charge. The and raider, a careful! Raider the way. Oh, and there's, there's <laughs> another, another raider. <laughs> oh god, it's the dead raider apocalypse. It's just exactly what you don't want. Okay, okay, kill good call. Off. Okay, nothing left. Just cadence and dinner. There He's got it. Like, He's got like, it. Like, Red of applause. He's got it. Well handled. Oh man, <laughs> that went from fine. To one of the worst dead riggers you can possibly get in just such a short space of time. Oh man! Yeah, perhaps, uh, perhaps to to you know have the presence of mind to pop the ham in the middle of the fight after taking that nasty hit. Uh, yeah. yeah, just in the nick of time too, because e eating another hit like right after dropping him down to what would have been death prior to eating that ham. Yeah, that would have been game over. Oh, he does have to be careful here. He's given Dorian the rape here, so... I mean, I think that's something we do mostly see from Blood Tier Racers, is giving uh, Dorian whichever weapon you carried into the fight. I think I... I mean, personally, I know I would rather give Dorian the flail than the rape here, but you can do so... You can end up in some nasty situations if you do give Dorian the flail, so... Oh, this is spooky. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's eating a Necrobomb, but just barely hanging on. Yeah, that teleport super lucky for King Captain, who's gonna tie it up at one here. But um, wow, half a heart away from uh, it being game over. But wow, we are uh, we are tied at one. Just taking a moment to reset his game. Yeah, that's it's totally fair. Maybe maybe chugging a little bit on his end. I mean, way back in the day, in the, like the early horse of development, uh, when this game was uh, this game's code was not quite as airtight as it is uh, <laughs> now. Which even mm -hmm. even that um. That phrase is a little generous, maybe. Um, it was kind of... I That was a, something I kind of did in my races. It's like between every single round, I reset my game. Because um, there were some issues with maybe some like memory leaks or something. Uh, just kind of... Or debug logs piling up. Yeah. Um, that made the game kind of gradually slow down. So it was, you know... I could get like a second or so advantage just by resetting the game between every round to clear that out. Yeah, it wasn't the... A little bit less the case nowadays, though. Yeah, absolutely. It wasn't the most optimized game uh, in the world, but it's certainly come a long way. And so many little, like, so many little quality of life improvements to the game. Just, um, you know, other than the balance changes, which, oof. Who remembers two heart cadence? Oh, I do, and it was the worst thing in the world. <laughs> oh, Who remembers, like, you know, opening it, going into blood shops, and sometimes just not being able to buy things? Yeah, just straight up, it was like, oh, that's too much. I can't. I can't. Oh, I just... Man, when that, when that patch hit and cadence got three hearts, it was just the best day ever. getting one shot by like every zone one mini boss yeah that was the worst part right it was like in the first zone of the game almost any mini boss could take you out immediately was black like, oh. skeletons killed you in one shot exactly it was just yellow skeleton left you on half a heart like... it was brutal it was just so brutal <laughs> the good old days of blood shops taking your heart containers and not just your health that was a good one. I've had that one a little bit before my time. Oh, I remember that. I remember <laughs> watching watching Hoff um, have to deal with that. I just... Oh, man. 
And yet they still haven't given Monk a third heart. Yeah. Monk, Monk needs a lot of changes. But uh, we're off and running here. So the final race of, uh, of this blood promotion match. Both of these racers looking to get into the titanium division. Really good set of races so far. King Captain and Wonder J have both shown um, excellent racing credentials so far. Especially for, uh, for the tier that they're in. So, well, only one of them can get promoted. Let's see who it's going to be. Yeah, and then there can be only one. Uh, oh, oh, wow, pretty much synchronized uh, trapdoor jumps down there, despite uh, a little bit of a run around on, I think that was King Captain's side. Yeah, always nice to oh, see that. Oh, ouch. Uh, Wonder J, though, I think kind of inadvertently skipping a beat there. And, yeah. Uh, and then Losing King Captain. Help. No, you go. Oh, sorry. And then... Oh, oh, both of them getting hit by that red bat, <laughs> trying to go down the trap door. King Captain having the help to survive it, but uh, Wonder J not so much. Yeah, Wonder J on that half a heart. Can't you can't take a whole heart, whole heart hit with uh, with half a heart, and it's back to the start for him. So, King Captain with a chance to. Oh, I was going to say with a chance to pull out a pretty significant lead, but did just drop his multiplier on this death metal. So not going to get anything from the boss chests. Yeah, okay. Clean fight other than that. So at least going to come out with, you know, most of his health pool and intact. But <laughs> zone two on base daggers. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we saw the, the trials and tribulations of base dagger in zone two earlier with uh, that juicy seed for uh, for the name in CS1 race. It's um it's not a fun time. It's not a fun time. You can have noticing this potion, though, and also uh, making... You know, I'm not sure intended, but good use of the uh, the spike traps in this uh, drumstick room to really just clear out the room uh, before he even really goes into it. Yeah, just doing a good job of uh, getting the enemies to come towards him and uh, take care of themselves. Possible conjurer here, and it's a Shriner. Ooh, I'm gonna I, take. I I'm tempted to hear me hear me out. I'm tempted to bomb that Shriner. Okay. And then pop the fear scroll. Okay, that's fair. Because um, you'll you'll push all the dragons back into one corner and uh, make them a lot more manageable. And then you're coming out with like a uh, map regen and uh, what was the third trying? Uh, risk. Yeah, okay, so karate, you would you probably leave? <laughs> yeah. Or you you could take it for to help kill the dragons, but yeah, then you're stuck with the karate. Gi. Yeah, exactly. I oh, running right into that clone is king captain. One of the one of the banes of Zone Two are those clones. They'll get you. Which, uh, yeah, the Fear Skull being kind of one of those uh, um, awkward backpack fillers that we uh, almost never see actually get used. Yeah, it's just it's... Uh, you know such a niche item, kind of you know along with like the Gigantism Scroll. Like no one is ever quite sure when to use it, and they'll just like hold on to it and be like, oh, you know. I'll wait, I'll wait for the good time to use this and I'll know it when I see it. And then you don't know it when you see it. You just never use it. Exactly. The best thing to do is to use it on the Necrodancer fight, of course. Use it against an ogre. Those are pretty good. Exactly. Oh. You gotta make sure it's a small room <laughs> with an ogre. A King Captain taking a height, uh, hit to the Red Knight. So no flawless deep blues here and... Uh, I hope you're ready to see some uh, base tiger zone three action because that's what we're looking at here. Yeah, this is looking rough for King Captain. It's allowing Wonder J all the time in the world to catch up. Who did get a glass broadsword um, off of that zone one boss? Has heavy glass as well. Still has all three bits of it. Um, yeah, normally that glass broadsword being kind of a scary weapon here, but heavy glass just being so good. Um, you know, gonna be three hits that he can burn through before he really has to be concerned yeah absolutely. king captain though finding his food shop and getting a oh really nice boy. boost to himself but oh black skeletons uh they pack a real oh, wall of so no, fire, the, slimes, the fire slime incidentally yeah no this is this is pretty rough it was a bit of a misplay in that food shop he decided to use a cookie to get one extra heart container um he seems to be a little bit prone to doing that um, yeah with that war drum now and you can uh open up crates uh 
five war drums will boost you up to three damage. Oh no! Oh, and he's dead. He's so dead. That was yeah. <laughs> just just a flying V maneuver. Um, just being a little too indecisive. Um, I I think yeah, like deciding okay, I'm gonna war drum this uh, you know like the shove monster down. Um, not really taking into account that uh, that skeleton rider is gonna get him on the exact same time. And uh, so that attack's not gonna work. Gonna have to back up, and there's just nowhere to back up to. Yeah, exactly. Just the, threw him and into a such, corner, slapped him around. Such uh, are the wonders of getting into zone three and still only having a base dagger. Yeah, like it's ah uh, zone one learn, base learn dagger. Boss fights. Yeah, your boss fight. zone one base dagger, fine. Zone two base dagger, bit of a pain, generally fine. <laughs> zone three base dagger, no, 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 no. You need to yeah, find so almost its, anything uh, else. With its high swarm potentials, you want something that's going to kill multiple enemies at once, or at the very least, um, kill single you don't enemies have a quickly. Bit of reach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm going to quickly go and grab a drink, so I'll be right back, Speedy. I'm going to leave the booth in your capable hands. All right, I'll try not to break everything. I would hope so. Yeah, we're probably going to see Wonder J uh, you know, dial back the speed a little bit here, do some shopping. Enchanting that Blood Longsword, but getting more glass, I think, was looking to get off the glass. But, um, I mean, still has that heavy glass, all three pieces intact. Teleportation crown on top of that, so can hit, take four hits before breaking that glass. And when you are when you get to that point, I think you're, you're pretty uh, fine to just run glass the whole way. Oh, and a really nice food shop. Right there. Wonder Jay gonna boost up to seven hearts with an empty eighth and uh, cheese on deck. Probably can afford to do a little more shopping if you would like, so you know. It is still a glass build nonetheless, you know, all that health is not going to do you a whole lot of good if you start taking hits and can't get your, get back to your shard or anything. Um, and, you know, it's like a full two-zone lead here, almost, so I'm going to check the shop. Pretty nice-looking shop, but um, yeah, I can't afford that. would have to murder for those juicy-looking items, but... Ooh, very nice use of the battle shovel, busting open the urn. Not really going to take much out of this other than the ham and the heal spell. Monocle uh, wanting to stick with the uh, with the, mon with the uh, teleportation crown here. But not getting a new like safe uh, you know non-glass weapon or anything. Unfortunately a little bit of an underwhelming urn I think overall. But uh, glass, uh, the heal spell going to add a little bit of safety here. Gonna slide right down to Fortissimal 3. Alright, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Did I miss any anything exciting? Um, you missed a uh, Wonder J finding you know, an enchant scroll and a Blood Longsword, deciding he wants to try and get off uh, glass and enchanting the Blood Longsword and getting a glass longsword. Maybe not what you want. I notice he does still have all three hits on his on his heavy glass, so not. The I, worst I hope I'm saying Poot. that. Well, um, uh, oh no. But he also has that teleportation crown, so he still has um, three hits to go before that glass is in peril. I think here, uh, even spending the bomb for peace isn't entirely a bad idea. Oh, by the cursed hearts! By the cursed hearts! You've got the heal spell. You can. Uh, I guess that oh, works. Okay. So, okay. Now pop heal, and you've got ten full heart containers. There you go. Okay, gotta say that's really good awareness of, of, of the shrines, and that you you can do that. Swap out your weapon, hit it, get your extra heart container, get get fully healed. Uh, yeah, another bit really of uh, you know, just being familiar with the new. Uh, amplified behaviors because uh, Shr uh, Shrine of Peace used to be uh, pretty weak in this regard. Um, it used to give you two full heart containers but confiscate your entire build. Um, 
which often made the, you know, if you had any sort of armor, it made the heal generally not worth it at all. But uh, it's since been retooled. It only just uh, gives you a base dagger, like replaces your base uh, weapon with a base dagger, and gives you one heart, which means it's a lot easier to exploit in that way if you can just uh, find a weapon to replace it with um, before you hit it. Then I think in this case, I'm definitely taking that blood shovel here. Huge, uh, you know, healthy build, ton tons of safety, but not many bombs. Yeah, just the one bomb for Wonder. I think you're right. Take that Blood Shovel. You have such a, a tanky build. You have you even have the Ring Con of Regen and the Heal spell to back it up. As and well as there's a Conjurer over on the left. Could even, you know, Conjurer weapons and some armor get off this uh, this kind of sketchy set here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, down goes King Captain, unfortunately. So Wonder J with a, a pretty hefty lead here. Yeah, I think just, you know, kind of taking his time here. Nice use of the bomber there to clear the room out. And uh, down to 4-3. Still two pieces of that glass. One piece. We just gotta <laughs> stop talking about <laughs> Okay, I'm glad it's not just me. You just can't talk about the, the state of people's glass. Like it, at least not the heavy glass. Okay, there's, there's some better. Okay, gonna swap to the... No, gonna keep the glass long. Going no, back no, to the blood cat. The blood cat. <laughs> you might as well buy those hard reeves as well. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, see now this is a really safe looking build. That's um, one and a half points of damage reduction. One damage is a little unfortunate, but, um, you know, you've got such a gigantic lead over your opponent. Um, you can take your time killing enemies and you'll be just fine. Yeah, exactly. You can just take all the time that you need. There's really, there's oh. really no rush. This room really scary, oh. just kind of dancing around all the damage here, uh, popping the telecrown to that fireball trap. Um, uh, King Captain going down to that same boss arena again. Oh wow, that was really weird <laughs> with the blood cat and the dove charm. That black skeleton <laughs> teleporting like down and along three tiles. Uh, <laughs> good old dove charm. Uh, yeah, finishing up zone four here, so the horrors of ooze are now... Um, of the past, no more uh, you know horrifying insta dogs from here on out. Um, you know, if if uh, Wonder J is going to be going down, it's going to take a lot of incoming hits. Yeah, it's going to take a lot to <laughs> to topple Wonder J from this position. Ten heart containers, a ham, free gen, heal spell. It's it's pretty unlikely at this point. I mean, you know, as always, there is Dorian. Yeah, as much There's as you Dorian. tank Cadence up, Dorian still has that same slightly tanky but not amazing build. And, uh, King Captain, I think, has died to this trapdoor room like three runs in a row. I think really just uh, letting nerves get the better of him here. Yeah, maybe just needs to take a second to uh, compose himself. Yeah, I think yeah, you can you can see he's like playing really uh it's kinda angry playing here, just kinda like mashing straight through towards the exit, like this blue slime be damned. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna push through this room as fast as possible and, and just, that's just, not, just uh, to get not gonna be how you stay room. alive. <laughs> Alright, so we did miss Wonder J picking up the uh the frost dagger, so Bit of a better proposition, that blood cat in a way. Okay, you don't have your regen, but uh, high damage, high health enemies, sorry. You can you can just freeze and they're not a problem. Also can just uh, poke through those orc shields. Yep, does have piercing as well. The only major downside of it is it is a dagger range weapon, but um, beyond also, that... Also only, oh, only wow. one damage, so you know. But if he makes good use of the power lines, that shouldn't be too much of a concern. Yeah, exactly. Which so far seems to be doing. <laughs> this Dove Charm just putting in work for Wonder G on this 5-3. Just that, uh, that corridor going straight down. Hopefully those aren't all in the exit room and about to cause... Serious hell. Looks like it, but at least uh, one thing did. Maybe one of those black skeletons. Black skulls, sorry. Right, you can see, even though, like, you know, kind of tanking 
quite a bit, bit of hits uh, throughout these lords with that low damage dagger. Um, still starting dead mayor with a full 10 hearts. Just so much health regen. Yeah, exactly. Just gonna lure here. That's exactly the right thing to do. If you're in this position, don't try and do the earth spell. Uh, earth spell kill. It, it's just not worth it. <laughs> wow, the uh, wood mage set up there, kind of uh, whipping him around a little bit, but not even checking his chest though. Only has uh, two bombs, I believe, so could have maybe checked red for some sort of bomb source, but gonna have to push a few buttons here. That summon just kind of walking into that bomb, so. Pretty easy setup here. Okay, so now, I, if I'm remembering correctly, two bombs could just uh, bomb the stage from here on out. Yep, I think that's what we're, we're going to see just once Wonder has dealt with, dealt with that enemy. Yeah, there we go. I think for a moment, uh, getting a little confused there, thinking Kane's already has the loot, kind of approaching that skeleton in that fashion. Yeah, you you got to be careful about that. You got to make sure that Cadence does have the loot. <laughs> Waffles making a bit of a misplay earlier, not having the loot, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, you need that loot to defeat the Necrodancer. Okay, Wonder doing a good job of, of luring, maybe not the most efficient lures in the world, but showing good awareness to know when to kind of just stand still. Um. Sort of. <laughs> sort of, yeah. Again, a little bit of a misplay there, but certainly better to see that and see it go go a little bit wrong than to see otherwise. Oh, <laughs> that Skeleton Raider spawning inside the Earth spell walls. Alright, two hits left in the Necrodancer here. Dorian doesn't have a shovel, can't dig through that. Dorian down to one heart, has to be really careful here. There are a few things that could really easily take him out one hit from this point. Yep, one heart. Oh, the the, the blood earth. Uh, I think just, using just it tactically blocking. is a wall. Yeah, I think blocking it from Dorian, which is actually really smart. Oh, um, that's amazing. I don't think we've ever seen play like that before. Uh, very creative, and uh, yeah, keeping Dorian safe there actually. So. Yeah, great awareness um, from from Wonder Jade to protect Dorian, who is looking a little bit a little bit unhealthy, and that's gonna do it. So Wonder Jade is gonna be your two one winner, and you'll be seeing him. In titanium starting from the next round of matchups so ggs to both of these racers a really interesting set king captain bit of a nasty one towards the end but put in some really solid performances and uh yeah ggs all round